copper flow tube for a serpentine collector may be made from a 60-foot coil of 3 8 inch copper. Stay away from half-inch copper. It's too difficult to bend and too expensive. Quarter-inch copper is less expensive, but it restricts water flow too much. Stick with 3 8 inch copper tube. It's just right. A bending jig facilitates flow tube bending, maintains uniform spacing, and keeps the kinks out of the tube. Four 1x6x8s are needed to construct the flow tube bending jig on the plywood bottom of the collector frame. Sixteen 1x6x2s are made from the 1x6x8 planks. Next, Semicircles are cut out of each of these boards before screwing them into the bottom of the collector frame. 1x6s are used to build a copper tube bending jig. The same lumber can be used to build the absorber plate jig. Now, the distance between the bends will be about 45 inches for a 4x8 collector and the distance between the serpentine loops will be about six inches. From here to here will be about six inches. So, yeah, you can use this same uh, one by six lumber commonly available at Home Depot uh, and you would use a, a series of these um, covering an eight foot span uh, to make your your loops. Anyway, this is just a very small uh, demonstration jig uh, just to show you how, how we can bend the, the uh, copper. Okay, so uh, you know, this is the, the coil that you, you'd probably be using probably, probably actually be longer than this. Now, when you do this, it's a good idea to get some help if you can. But I, I've done it by myself. Uh, anyway, let me see if I can uh, rem remember how to do this. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. All right, so here's the copper flow tube. Now, you want to press it into this groove. That'll help it get nice and straight. All right, then we come over the end like this. Okay. And then we just bend it around like so. Okay, so we can shape it. Boy, I'm really out of practice. I'm telling you, I used to be able to whip these out like, like, like nothing. So, uh, we're going to get this, uh, this end nice and straight. I'm going to make it look pretty. Alright, well, that's the basic shape. Now, we get to, when we get to this end here, um, remember, this, there's going to be a loop, and it's going to go around like this. I don't know if you can see me from there. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so, the loop will go like this, and around, serpentine loop. Uh, so, a continuous loop, 60 feet long. After all the serpentine flow tubes are made, carefully set them aside until they are needed. Remove the 1x6 planks from the bottom of the collector frame, but do not throw them away. These same planks will later be used to make the absorber plate jig. Mm -hmm.